Hi, this is Al, and I am uh, following up with a uh, video to show you the connection diagram on how to hook up a wind turbine uh, to your home circuits, uh, and and then also how to convert it back to uh, down to 12 volts in case uh, somebody wants to purchase one of the uh, turbines that don't come in 12 volts. It's actually rather easy. So I made this diagram that I hope uh, everybody can see well. And essentially, it shows my one kilo, one kilowatt uh, wind max uh, turbine, and the output of that turbine is uh, a three phase uh, wild AC. It's not unregulated. So <clears throat> what you do is you use a uh, UV resistant uh, uh, extension cord that is three wire, uh, ten gauge, uh, and run it from the turbine, which has a connector uh, for the three wires to go into, with a strain relief. Uh, and then put a circuit breaker, 100 amp um, circuit breaker through each one of these legs. Uh, that gives you three phase and regulated output to the uh, charge controller that uh, the, the folks at WinMax um, package together with the unit, which is really a rectifier a charge controller and a dump load all in one. So it's a really nice setup and um, it, it is the best bargain that I've seen out there. Unfortunately, I don't have strong enough strong enough wind to really use 24 volts uh, so um, anyways uh, the power comes into here and then from here it leaves as 24 volts DC and you should go through a 200 amp breaker uh, or you, should, you need to go through a 200 amp breaker and then go to your battery bank the uh, batteries are or the Power from the charge controller always needs to go to the ends, to the extreme ends of the batteries. In other words, if you have more than one battery, then you should go to one positive, which is in, on one extreme end of the bank, to the negative that is furthest away. And that ensures that all the batteries in the middle are evenly charged. Uh, you need to make sure that you understand what kind of wiring to use throughout this circuit all the way through to the house by checking wire charts that are available on the internet uh, and there are also wire size calculators that allow you to figure out how long the wire needs to, you know, needs to be run how many amps it needs to go through and it will tell you uh, what kind of size wire that you should use uh, so my picture here shows a set of four 12 volt batteries connected in series parallel. As you can see, you have two banks of two batteries. Here is the first bank of batteries that are connected in series. So you have the negative of one battery going to the positive, or the positive of one battery going to the negative of the other one. That makes this connection between here, between this negative and this positive, 24 volts. And then you have another bank of 24 volts made up of two 12 volt batteries on another series bank, which goes from the negative of this battery to the positive of this other battery. And that makes the connection from this point, this negative, to this positive 24 volts. So notice that now we have 24 volts from here to here and 24 volts from here to here. So what we want to do is increase the capacity of the system by having the two banks connected in parallel, which gives us double the capacity. So we go into parallel connection, which goes from the negative of this battery to the negative of this other battery. So the negative of one bank to the negative of the other bank, and the positive of one bank to the positive of the other bank. Now we have two banks of 24 volts connected in parallel. So for example, if this battery was 100 amps, 100 uh, minute reserve capacity, and this one was 100 minute re re reserve capacity, when you go into a series connection, you double the voltage from 12 to 24, but your reverse capa reserve capacity remains the same. So this bank is a 100 amp bank, just as this one would be another 100 amp bank. So what we do is we connect them in parallel, and in the parallel connection, leaves the voltage the same, so we have one back of 24, another one of 24, 
the total bank voltage is 24. However, the reserve capacity now went from 100 amps in this bank plus 100 amps in this bank is now 200 amps, and it's a double bank capacity. All of the connections should need to go to an error parameter. So all negative connections that you see in this diagram share a common earth ground. It's not uh, a viable alternative to just go into the negative of the battery and everything just connects to the negative of the battery without an earth ground. So from the batteries you go again from the outermost posts through a uh, DC disconnect. And from the DC disconnect you have 24 volts going to your pure sine wave inverter. The pure sine wave inverter then con converts the 24 volt power to AC power 120 to 40, which can go to either a manual or an, or an automatic transfer switch, and then from there to your house. The manual transfer switch would avoid the possibility of you trying to feed two circuits uh, or feed one circuit from two different power sources, i.e., the commercial power from the electric company versus your own power. Uh, there are other ways to do this, and I will sh I will do diagrams showing a, a um, grid tie inverter where this is unnecessary. Uh, but this is just assuming that you're just gonna you know you, you have uh, a shed or you have a cabin or, or something of that sort. You just want to dedicate your, your the light circuits in your home for this. Um, there is no saying there's no reason to go grid tie if you don't want to. You simply have a manual transfer panel that uses power from either uh, your battery bank and your wind uh, versus the power from the uh, power company. Everything that you see here is for informational purposes only and should not be construed as a uh, document that you could use or a diagram that you can use to do your own wiring. It's just an example and take no responsibility for uh, your, your use of the information that's being presented here. Thank you. And have a God blessed day, and I hope uh, everything that you do works out well for you. Thanks, and take care.